The GCC July drop came and went, and with it had to be one of the most interesting releases to date. One of the most controversial changes GCC has done was the addition of the printed on pauldrons to some of their troopers. Now this is something they've done in the past with their ARC troopers, but I don't think doing it to this style of clone was the move. They printed it on both a remake of the Captain Grey and a new, never before seen before, Captain Hauser. Now I was very excited to hear that Hauser was getting added to the GCC lineup and I'm disappointed that this is the first way we got him. Besides the printed on pauldron, he looks very, very nice, and the printing on him is fantastic. Both Gray and Hauser use official helmets too, which is fantastic to see. Thankfully, you can cover most of the printed pauldron with a cloth one on, so it's not entirely the end of the world. GCC also added a new ARC Trooper to the lineup with the Umbra Operative. This is GCC's take on the Battlefront 2 ARC Trooper skin, and it looks absolutely incredible. Definitely one of my favorites from the wave. The printing on him looks really, really nice. Unfortunately, the helmet does get stuck on the head like it did with Fives and Echo, so it must be a general problem with the mold itself. Not a terrible thing, but is worth pointing out. This clone trooper type was from concept art for Revenge of the Sith and never made it into the movie. Sort of like a green 212th trooper. I'm happy to see GCC continue this line of episode 3 concept troopers that we never saw make it onto the big screen. Here's a couple of the troopers that were restocked this month. Now, these are full figure versions of clones that had just had helmets in the past, so I'm happy to see them branch out and make some of their clones that just had helmets available into full-fledged army-building figures. The biggest highlight from this wave has to be straight out of Albuquerque, the chicken man himself, Gus Fring. This is so cool to see GCC do something not Star Wars related into the Breaking Bad universe. This figure looks absolutely fantastic. I love the torso and face print. I'm very, very happy with how it looks. I do think the hair was a weird choice though. I would have picked something else or just not given him hair at all. Really, really looking forward to see if they do more characters from the Breaking Bad world. Overall, extremely solid wave. Again, not the biggest fan of the printed on pauldrons. I have heard that GCC will make versions of these figures without the printed on pauldrons. So if you are a fan of this, you can go get these. But if you're not, I would just hold out and wait for them to not do this. What are your thoughts on the GCC July wave? Are you getting more excited for what they're doing? Do you think Interesting Clones is kind of plateauing a little bit? Let me know in the comments down below. Let's start a conversation. Well, that's all I got. I'll see you guys in the next video.